not. Folks, welcome aboard. It's Sunday afternoon, and you know what that means? That means it's the Margu campaign. Uh, these guys are ready to go after last week's not quite debacle with copious v bidders fame and fortune uh folks we're glad to have you follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive if you want to buy our crap go ahead if you want to talk in our discord go ahead uh and we'd like to thank uh, oddfishgames.com for thinking about sponsoring us until they actually see how we are and never contact us again but you know thanks for thinking of us uh folks we're down a few people but we're going to go ahead and continue with the campaign one of them will be here shortly. The other one is dead. We just killed him off. His character is dead because he would never take the bait at the young, not quite attractive women that would throw themselves at him. Uh, we'll go ahead and start off with Frank. Frank, who are you and who are you playing today? I am Frank Sr. and I'm playing Leaf the Druid. Next up is everyone's famous hero, Jason. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing <laughs> copious Volt bitters the third the feared undead slayer uh with a new sense of style the little gnome and i understand you are quite the brewer i i have a quite a deft hand with spirits yes we shall see if that comes into play in the big city next up is man fang the scarred who are you who are you playing I am Manfang, aka Noodle, and I am a dragonborn fighter who has great medical skills. Top of the line. Top. Top men. Gotta apply the force around the neck area. You are Mr. Tourniquet. <laughs> Last to go around the throat. Last but certainly not least, AJ, who are you? Who are you playing? Hey, I'm AJ, and I'm playing Felix the Rogue. And I am planning on doing some shopping once we get to the big city. I got money burning a hole in my pocket, and it's not just for gambling this time. I wonder if you're going to seek to update any collections that you might have. I am. Wow. Folks, uh, these guys are the heroes of Snowf. They managed to uh, discover that there was a real disappearing town problem and resolved it through the death and dismemberment of an elemental wizard s uh they have run into their favorite bard who has uh given them a little hint on a uh, lost city in the jungle uh that needs some exploring uh but first they need to get to the jungle and that's going to require some uh, ship travel uh so they have set it said the uh, set back to cragwich home of the minions of habu these guys just left there like a month ago so hopefully everything has died down just prior to them leaving things were getting a little bit too hot under the collar and there were going to be some issues uh but yeah that was a month ago you know so uh these guys have taken their zonkies their uh victory treasure and uh, headed across uh the land to get to crag which instead of going on the road which is almost always safe they decided to cut across uh the frontier where they found the carnival o death uh while giving accolades and kudos to one copious v bitters uh before nearly killing him uh although uh he didn't come out of it unscathed, so we'll see how he does. Gentlemen, uh, two days later, you see the outline of the port city of Cragwich, which you are all very familiar with. Uh, you come to the junction where the road meets up, and you guys are able to see this. It be the big city of Cragwich. Uh, this area here, the Thumb, is uh, well known for the Dwarken district where you guys were all able to go ahead and deftly handle the minions of Habu, uh, some traitorous wretches of cultists. Uh, your job is to go ahead and seek out a vessel uh, capable of travel. And your most likely spot would be this area today. So uh, as you come up on the area, <clears throat> The trouble is yours to get into. I'll go ahead and flash this one up here. Not that one, because that has all the secrets. Uh, this one. 
So as you can see, you are coming from this direction over here. Inside the walls is the Dworkin district where you guys have already been, made friends, made enemies, uh, even I think knocked out or killed a gnome and took his teeth. Uh, this area is predominantly your best bet for finding transportation services today. So uh, without further ado, I'll let you guys take over and you tell me what you want to do. Not all at once, though. I want to head down to the the dwarf or the wharf wharf area so we can find a ship. Right here. Yes. Okay. So, uh, as you uh, gentlemen can see, I've marked a few things on this map uh, in red. Uh, you guys will be quite familiar with this since you grew up in the area. But as a reminder, this is where you will find naval headquarters. Uh, there's a gambling hall, a few taverns, and an inn, along with regular uh, businesses and warehouses. Uh, for Felix, uh, let's see here. That is the location of a certain dice creator, in case you wanted to know. So we have Leaf headed down towards the wharf. Uh, Leaf, D12 against me, please. Eleven. <laughs> there are a lot of ships in port, 10 of them as a matter of fact. Each is in the process of offloading and uploading goods and services. The docks are busy as a bee with activity. What would you like to do? Uh, and also, are the three of you with him? <laughs> I, I, I'm definitely with him. But as we're walking down there, if there's taverns, I'm going to keep popping in and out to find bards to pay to start singing the praises of copious fee bidders. Very nice. There will be two taverns directly in your line of sight, so you will start to fall behind Leaf rather rapidly. Uh, Noodle, a.k.a. Manfang, are you following or no? I'll follow. I don't got much else that I think I want to do. Fair enough. And Felix, what are you going to do? I'm going to head to Pete's Pips. Okay, fair enough. You're going inside the walls. Uh, Leaf, you Ooh. have arrived on the docks. Uh, there's a whole host of people. Uh, give me a perception check to see if you spot the harbor master. Um, 20. You do spot Jeep Wagoneer harbor master for the city of Cragwich. Uh, he is extremely busy. He is surrounded by a bunch of people. He is barking orders and his voice is getting harsh and it's only about 10 a.m. in the morning. Uh, he, let's see if he sees you. <clears throat> he does not, not with the three. Uh, you're gonna have to wait in line a little bit with uh, Manfang as the porters and other sea captains ferrying goods and services uh, have his rapt attention. Copious, D12 against me for pub number one, please. <clears throat> Ooh, eight takes it. Uh, there is a bard in here. She is a female. Fauna Lynn. She's right. a half elf. I was going to say, just by the name, we should have something in common. I am a forest gnome, so at least we can talk green stuff. I think you're talking under her, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. So, yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to see if I can uh, uh, wow her with a story and perhaps provide a, a little bit of coin for her to weave a new song to sing in the uh, tavern. So I'll relay the entire incident of the carnival of terror that we, we went through, highlighting, of course... <laughs> Copius's magnificence and role in saving his compatriots in the course of that adventure, uh, that without his skills and expertise uh, and prowess, they would have fallen victim to the, the, the undead. Somebody is going to kill you, and it's not from outside your group. Uh, how much money are you going to shift over to her coin purse? I, I'm willing to slide 50 gold if she seems like that would uh, make a, a decent start to a story. Hey, give me a percentage roll and add 50 to it. 
Well, let's see if my luck holds. Uh, 91 without the 50. So 121. Wow. She is duly impressed and is looking for new material. She will gladly take your money, whip out some parchment and a feather, and she will begin to write as you retell the greatness of Copious V. Bitters the Third's antics with the uh, undead as you saved your party. Uh, Frank is going to kill you when he gets back. <laughs> uh, Felix, uh, you enter the city gates. D12 against me. Let's see if you see any old friends in the form of guardsmen who don't care for you. Two. Five. You see guardsmen, but not the captain of the guards that you guys had so many problems with. They look at you in stunned astonishment and... Sigh deeply. Uh, you are headed to Pete's Pips, I understand? Yes, that is correct. Uh, Pete's Pips, uh, you come in, uh, fond memories of the uh, salvation of the Dworkin district, flood back to you. It is market day here uh, in the plaza, and you are going to make your way past a pub, an inn, a uh, gambling establishment, Ooh. another pub, more inns, a guild house, uh, and you are going to have to go into the seedy back alleys in order to find Pete's Pips. Yeah, I'm going to, I have a couple of errands that I need to run here today, so I'm going to be pretty quick to make it over to Pete's Pips. Make a beeline, if you will. Fair enough. D12 against me. Let's see if Pete's available. Oh, I hope he is. Well. <laughs> There is a sign that says he will be back in five minutes. I'm going to go wet my whistle back at that tavern. Fair enough. Noodle, Leaf, back on the dock. Uh, the Harbor Master shows no signs of getting rid of people. Uh, looks like you're going to have to be a little bit indignant, maybe barge into somebody to get his attention. Well, I, I definitely don't mind doing that. I'm going to... Uh, <clears throat> They always say that before the roll. <laughs> well, we're going to roll. I'm going to slip three gold pieces out of my little satchel and kind of give him a toss on the other side of the group that's in between me and him. Fair enough. Uh, give me a performance check. Let's see if you do that or hit Jeep Wagoneer in the face. What's performance come off of? I think it's charisma. <laughs> I'm screwed, then. <laughs> <laughs> 20. Natural. Oh, nicely done. Uh, it's raining gold. <laughs> uh, as you golden shower the far side of the <laughs> pedestal, uh, the uh, poor porters who work very hard for their li life uh, givings uh, immediately bum rush the area where the coins fell. How much did you throw away? I threw three. <laughs> Oh my god, there's going to be a fight. Uh, Jeep Wagoneer turns around, looks puzzled, and looks back and sees you and Manfang and goes, what do you want? Uh, what was the name of the place we're trying to get to? <laughs> I forgot. Oh, you're there. You're in Cragwich. No, no, I, the island we're trying to get to. Oh, Plista Bora. Lista Bora. Okay, Palista. Well, let me let me double check oh, oh. because I made it a stupid name. <laughs> I thought it was Playa Drill. Yes, that sounds Playa right. Drill? What is it? P L E Y W space Drill. Correct. Space Drill. P P L E Y W D R I L. I thought you said Space Drill. <laughs> No, okay. that's what happened to you. Play drill. Play so, uh, Jeep Wagoneer, I, I'm going to assume by the name he's rusty rather than crusty. He's a little, little bit of both. Bit uh, of both. And as, as you delay, I'm what? Gonna, what? I'm gonna, we are seeking passage for us and our comrades to play drill. Great. You've got a ship headed that way soon? Uh, I don't know. You'll have to check back at headquarters. Uh, they will know what the schedule is. I am completely submerged here. I'm like a gnome in a tube right now. 
but I know that uh, I just got a bunch of ships in and I think I've only got one ship going out. If you'd like, you can go ahead and check with the captain, uh, see what they're doing. Okay. I'm gonna thank him and uh, ask which captain and head that way. Uh, the captain is known as Commodore 64. <laughs> Uh, and he, uh, <laughs> uh, for lack of a better term, looks like Admiral Akbar, uh, and he pilots the Harlot. Uh, Chief Wagoneer is uncertain if he is currently with the Harlot or not, but he does know that that ship is slated to leave in a few hours uh, when the tide well, comes. Well, the only thing we know for sure is Felix is with the Harlot. Or gonna be. Uh, Man Fang, whistle. Man Fang, uh, Jeep Wagoneer looks at you and goes, Good lord, what happened to your face? I got face drill. Apparently, so. Uh, have you thought about seeing a surgeon to get that fixed? Nah, it's fine. I, I don't I look great though. You look like you could hide parchment in your jaw <laughs> because I'm so good at looking good. I just need, you know what? I'm fine actually. I think I can't think of anything. That gives you character, right? Yeah, it gives me character. I've got a name. Yeah. Want to see the name? I want. I want to see the name. It is Doctor Bellagio. I like it. He might be able to fix it. Clean that horrific thing. Yeah, and where would he be? Uh, he would be just inside uh, on the left, uh, not in the Dworkin district. He is located behind uh, an inn and a, hey, put that back, uh, an inn and a pub uh, just into your left. I got to go. That guy's going to drop a load of stuff and that's going to be bad. Uh, right. Go see the harlot. Uh, you, geez, go fix your face for the love I of I will. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Felix, you enter the rusty knuckle bone. And it is everything it sounds like. Oh, um, lovely. There's a definitive air of spicy tobacco and B.O. in here, as well as just a hint of urine. <laughs> uh, but uh, you see one table in the back playing cards and one table in the back playing dice. And then along your right side, there are some, shall we say, more barbaric types throwing an axe at a compatriot against the far wall. Uh, mm -hmm. So far, there is only a few nicks and scratches as the compatriot has been pinned up by his tunic with daggers. Uh, the compatriot doesn't appear as though they're willing. Uh, as you walk in, everything goes quiet. They give you the stink eye, and then they resume what they were doing. The bar winch comes up to you. Hey, love. Uh, 12, charisma. Uh, sweaty, buxom, uh, holding four beers in two hands. What can I get you? You want a seat? You want a seat at the table? You want a seat on my lap? Ha <laughs> ha, just kidding, love. <laughs> Uh, I'll take one of those beers that you're holding, if I could. Not necessarily that one, but I'd like one. I will have to get you one because these go to the boys throwing the axe, and I don't yes, think they do. I will <laughs> wait my turn happily. Are you sure? I could give it I, to you. No, no, please. <laughs> I don't want to interact. I would hate to upset a man of their stature. Um, but I would happily take a beer and perhaps a seat at the table in the rear throwing dice, if you can get me in there. Ah, that's an open table. You can go over there and introduce him. Yeah, you want you want to talk to Lonnie. Lonnie. His nickname Excellent. is the Louse. <laughs> Excellent. You think? <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> do you want to go over there or get your beer first? I will get my beer first and then go over there. Fair enough. Uh, there's a lot of loud yelling and screaming, some cursing going on as apparently there is a slight disagreement as to the rules of the engagement at the card table. Uh, it ends with the well-knowing sound that you have heard before. 
steel clearing leather scabbard. Uh, you see the bartender, a portly balding man, uh, jump over deftly with one hand. He has a club that would be uh, used on a ship to hold ropes, uh, and he heads for the trouble. Uh, the barbarians to your right laugh hysterically uh, as this guy will not be getting an earring anytime soon. No. <laughs> so a little I'm, bit of a roughneck bar. Yeah, I, I'm getting that feeling. I, I'm not sure I want to make too many waves because like I said, I still need to get over there to see Pete and his pips. So I think I'm just going to drink my beer or my ale and uh, try not to draw any attention to myself. Maybe I will flirt with the kind hostess or waitress. Mm -hmm. As you said, she is a very buxom woman, and that is my type of woman. Griselda will go ahead and reciprocate, uh, making sure if there's anything that you need, you are to call her. Why, thank you, Miss Zelda. You also notice where she keeps her coin purse. <laughs> ah, yes. Very safe from looters, I would imagine. Uh, Griselda asks you if you need any tips. Because she's always in need of a good tip. I can give her several. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this just won't end well, Felix. No, it won't. As I continue to drink my ale, I get a little bit more cocky, if you will. Sure. And I, I'm going to uh, proposition you, her to... You know you're leaving him here, right? <laughs> this is not going to go well for me, but I'm going to ask her if she... If there's perhaps a, a room that's a little bit quieter where we could chat for a few minutes. Someone's going to be naked in an alley. Someone's going to be robbed in an alley. <laughs> you know, I need to go get another keg, but I could always use a big, strong individual like yourself, love, to go ahead and help me hoist one over the shoulder, if you will. I would be more than willing. Boy, are you a sucker. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is not good. Uh, she looks around, makes sure that the bartender is uh, occupied, and he is. He he is actually, uh, despite his age, he is really uh, waylaying uh, the card players, uh, much to the amusement of the berserkers who uh, have stopped throwing axes at their friend. The dice guys are not paying any attention, and she gives you the come hither finger towards the cellar. Hmm. I'm going to follow her to the, I'm, no, before I, I'm going to follow her to the cellar, but I'm going to look around a little bit and make sure that those big gentlemen are not watching me follow her. Sure. Investigation check. A one. <laughs> You're fine because you hear, hey, love, are you coming to help me? Requiring you to look directly down the stairwell I, to her. I'm, <laughs> so you don't I'm see. Away. <laughs> Fair enough. Copious, uh, as you drone on about your powers of uh, saving the planet, uh, the bard uh, is writing it down. Uh, give me a persuasion check to see if she's buying your uh, what you're selling. <coughs> 21. Hmm. True account. Uh, she, you can tell that she's doing a little bit of fact checking on you, going back, making sure that you're staying consistent with your story. Uh, and in doing so, uh, you've gained her attention. Uh, now, she wants to know, if you have another name to plume that you go by, Copious the Brave, Copious the Spirited, anything uh, like that. I, I do not. There have been so many things I've been called in my, sh in my life. That no comes as no <laughs> shock whatsoever. <laughs> so, uh, so, does she suggest one? Copious the Valiant. Oh, uh, that works for me. <laughs> I'm if I'm nothing if not valiant and fearless. Wow. 
Uh, Opie is the modest I've been called from time to time as well. The modest. Yeah. Uh, Roll persuasion at disadvantage. (laughs) Uh, 15. Uh, Let's stick with the Valiant. I think that would uh, tune to it. You know what? Copious the courageous because alliteration connects everybody. Nice alliteration, yes. Courageous, copious, yes. Oh, okay. That, that's how it will be. Uh, she thanks you for your rendition of the story and back checks you one more time just to make sure you're telling the truth before she gathers her belongings and you can go to pub number two. Unless you'd like to pitch your wares at this establishment. Well, uh, depending on the quality of the establishment, because, you know, now that we're back in town, he's he's trying for a higher class of patron. I don't want to be in some bar with berserkers and... It, it is no rusty knuckle bone. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Gilded Lily. It is a medium establishment. Medium is good. Yes, I will approach the bartender and, and ask him of, of his wares and which of them he considers his finest. And has he ever heard of the Volbitters Brewery? and distillery who i i <laughs> begin to regale him with the the fine establishment from deep in the the forest the the gnomish tradition stop still, oh man do you have something i can taste i do certainly i pull out my flask of volbitter's best okay what are we rolling against i'm just gonna roll to see if he likes it roll it all right you know what i'll let you roll okay what do you want me to roll D20, uh, his constitution is normal. Hey, you know what? I'll give you plus one on the roll. 17. He likes it. He is interested and would like to hear more. All right. I am going to regale him with the, the – what of the. You're doing a lot of regaling I, today. Yeah, <laughs> this, is, this is copious, right? So he's carrying on. He, he's standing uh, you know, up on a stool so he can look him right in the eye as we're talking. He's got his finest cravat. I'm buying some more of those, some really nice ones while I'm here to cover up those horrific wounds. Yeah, you're, you're starting to itch too, by the way. It's probably healing. I'm sure that's probably what yeah, it's right? doing. Yeah, I would uh, like to find a healer at some point before we take sale. You also feel a nice cupping behind you as the waitress leans over and requests drinks for the guys over in the corner. However, she has given you a nice little uh, friendly rub, if you will. Uh, hey, Copious is not above uh, looking. You now you're wearing a cravat and talking all this bull crap. You're going to end up needing a flea collar. Yeah, oh, she yeah is, she, she's a six. Uh, so no Daphne, more Velma. <laughs> you know what, everyone? There, you, Velma needs love too. Love, love comes in different forms. So that's right. Right now, that's Manfang's only hope. Mm-hmm. The good news is uh, she's quite dexterous, and you're a little bit lighter in the coin purse than you thought you were. Ah, (laughs) What'd you get? She nicked you for four gold. (laughs) Well, you don't know that she did because her stealth roll was an 18. Jeez Louise. (laughs) Somebody got you. Might have been that damn bard. You know, bards are liars. You can't trust a bard. You knew that. if he's agreeable, the bartender's agreeable, we can strike an agreement, and I will send a letter off to the Volbitters' uh, best folks uh, back home before we leave town. Establishing right. trade relationship. Expect someone to be coming any day now with a new contract for delivery on a monthly basis. <laughs> you are quite the marketeer, I'll give you that. Back to the dock, Leaf and Noodle. Uh, Leaf, uh, you've been given a lead. Noodle, you've been given some fashion tips. What would you guys like to do? I'm gonna head over. Face go. fix. You you gonna go get your face fixed? Yeah. Um, All right. I, I want to get at least a little bit of charisma so I don't start. I, <laughs> You're gonna turn into the Joker. You know that, right? <laughs> Sorry, as long as the lady lizards like it. Uh, Leaf, what are you gonna do? Go find I'm, a harlot. I'm gonna head down to the harlot. Fair enough. Uh, Being a longtime fixture of the docks, uh, you easily find the slip. You're smart enough to realize where the nameplates are at, and you do indeed find the harlot. Uh, There is a tabaxi first mate. 
making sure that everything going according to plan uh, is she is a calico. Okay. As you start up the gangplank, she goes, whoa, 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 whoa. We're closed. We're accepting no more sailors. I'm saying I, I'm not here to be a sailor. I'm with my companions and myself are seeking passage. To? To play drill. Oh, uh, we are going in that direction because that is my homeland. Ah. And when uh, would you be departing? We were going to leave uh, in a few hours, but that has been pushed back to tomorrow. Okay, that's good. So, some of our crew has been uh, unavoidably detained by local law enforcement officials, uh, and we have to wait till they get sprung. That happens, and I, I need to round up uh, the rest of my companions. Fair enough. Uh, however, uh, I am only the first mate. You are going to need to speak with Captain... Commodore 64 uh, and uh, find out if he is accepting passengers. We do have room, but we only have two staterooms available. So oh, I don't know how many are okay. in your party. Two staterooms would be just perfect. Where would I find the captain? Commodore 64. Uh, the captain is in a pub that away. <laughs> I'm not sure which one because he enjoys his libations. It's right. like a fish to water, if you will. And how would I recognize the captain? He has a fish head. He's cursed. Uh, so okay. he's, he's human with a trout head. Isn't there a song about that? Yes, but I can't <laughs> say it even though we are from a mature audience. So I'm skating on the pond with Felix right now because I, really I really want to screw him over on it, but I can't. All right. so. Well, I'll, I'll thank the first mate and head back to find uh, Man Fang and tell him what occurred. Meow. Uh, Man Fang is going into the city, though. So good luck in finding him. Did you want to go see uh, Dr. Uh, Bellagio? or just find uh, the fish captain? Uh, well, if that's the case, then I'll, I will go find the fish captain okay. first. Give me a D6 roll, as there are three taverns in this location. Two. Uh, you find Copious V Bitters finalizing a game plan of action for the <laughs> Bitters Distillery. Uh, and he is looking proud as punch at his recent accomplishments. Uh, Copious, I've uh, found a ship that's headed to Pleasure Drill. <laughs> Pretty sure it's Face Drill, right? Make sure you can get a tattoo that says that. <laughs> I'm thinking that I'm, I'm too late. Somebody's going to come back with one as soon as they're done in the basement. Yeah, Probably. Felix, Felix has a new tattoo. Yeah. If, if he's lucky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Quaff your drink there, Felix. You might want to look that up in the Urban Dictionary. Uh, <laughs> copious. Yes, Leaf. Wow, you went there. <laughs> oh, I know exactly uh, what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm going to apologize right now before anybody looks, looks that up. You know uh, they're looking it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it came up the Scrabble game once. <laughs> yeah, that's where Urban Dictionary always fits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, go ahead. Oh, what were they doing? Oh, Copious. I uh, found a ship that's uh, headed where we need to go. I'm right now looking for the captain to secure passage. Uh, okay, I I say that's just great, but I'm saying all right. Well, let's keep rolling because you know I'm so proud of what I've accomplished in this short period of time while you did the real work. Well, um, have you seen anybody anybody walking around here with a fish head? I have not, but I keep need your, to go keep into your town. eyes open. That would be the captain we're trying to find. So if you see him, do not laugh at him or offend him. Right. Laugh at a captain with a fish no, head. Got do, it. Do not. Do not. Do not forget to laugh at the captain with the fish head. Got Keep it. Keep it up, Copious. <laughs> he's, he's distracted. He's, yeah, and he keeps pulling at his cravat to scratch his neck. 
got to be healing. I'm sure it's healing. Yeah. Yeah. That's why it scratches. Uh, here, I've got some holy water I can pour on that to help it heal. Yeah, I want to go find a healer once I've finished everything here. Okay. That's fair. You and Leaf uh, head out to go to the next tavern, I assume? Yep. Boy, that sunlight is really bright, <laughs> Copious. Uh, Manfang, you have entered the city gates. Go ahead and give me a D12 to see if you see any uh, entanglements from the minions of Habu. That's a seven. I got a seven. You do not. Uh, you see business as usual as the market stalls begin to close up shop for the day as uh, it's getting to be noon and people are going to go in and buy elsewhere. Uh, given the directions that you were, there is a small, dark, seedy alley leading in between the pub and the inn. From what you've been told by uh, Jeep Wagoneer, uh, that's where the dock's at. Then I guess we'll just go. Uh, I want some Christmas, so might as well. <clears throat> you see a sign. Uh, it's a little bit tilted, but it clearly states Dr. Bellagio uh, in this alleyway. Uh, there seems to be a lot of pigeon feces uh, here, uh, and there's a there's a dank smell. Uh, it's not horrible. It's just not, uh, shall we say clean <laughs> uh but the door is there and it clearly states dr bellagio before i ask did you anywhere in your lord did you write my kidneys are going to get torn out at any point or anything was bad too bad was going to happen to me i i think they only steal heads in oh. uh crag witch <laughs> uh, this is not good We're looking for our friend taller that's him <laughs> Uh, oh, you know what? I'll just go in. There you go. Uh, as you go in, a buxom female uh, looks at you and just wretches in just fear from the look and says, can I help you, Mr. Hatchet Face? I mean, I'm sorry, can I help you? Yes, it's fixed. Not here. I see. That's right. I, I see. Uh that is a significant wound. Uh, tell me, how did you come about uh, receiving that wound? I was saving a man from a flood. Oh, a hero. Yep. She is duly impressed. Well, I've never met a real hero before. Uh, are you here to see Dr. Bellagio to get that fixed? Because personally, I think it adds character. Yeah, I, I'd like to get it fixed. Uh, not doing great in the looks or I would disagree. I mean, you're a little off putting at first. It's kind of like when you step in horse manure, but after a while you just get used to it. <laughs> uh, Dr. Bellagio can see you if you would like to go ahead and give you an evaluation. I don't care, I'm going in. <laughs> Hey, Noodle, you get to pick out which fish head you want to be yours, <laughs> just FYI. Oh, go for the skeletal one, because that <laughs> looks horrible. <laughs> you go into the back room, and she goes, oh, whoa, 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 you, you should not go back there. Why? Well, he's not ready for you yet. I'll knock on the door, and he'll say if he's ready. But he I will lose uh, having your inspirational presence here. Please have a seat. Dr. Bellagio will be out in a minute. All right. I guess I will. Okay. Uh, you wait a couple minutes, not too long. Uh, the door opens and an individual, dark hair, kind of good looking, comes out and his smock is riddled in blood uh, like he's just butchered something. <laughs> uh, and he goes, wow, that did not want to come out. Who oh, are you? <laughs> Ask him, what would good what what didn't want to come out, Mr. Bellagio? I don't know about some guy that was in a pub with some big buck and <laughs> lady went down the basement. Yeah. Uh, uh, an individual was impaled on a pike, uh, and we had to remove it. There were a lot of splinters. 
He's still talking about Felix, though, right? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> the berserkers impaled him. I'm just going to ask. <laughs> I'm just going to ask. Is he okay? I'm just wondering. I'm just... Oh, he'll he'll be okay. Ah, uh, call it's him. Right. <laughs> you know what? I'll just be a little bit prepared. Just always with my hands on my hips or near my weapon. I'm just like. He kind of leans in, kind of pokes you a little bit. Oh, that is nasty. How'd you get that? Saving someone from a flood. Oh. Water do that damage to you? No, a rock hit me in the face while I was trying to save them. How many times? Uh, a lot. I yeah. would I would say a lot. I, I, feel, I think I almost died. Uh, well... I could see that. I think I might be able to fix you. It's going to be expensive. How expensive? Yeah. I started to heal. I'll say 125 gold pieces. But for you, being a hero, it make it 115. <coughs> now, how low would you say you could go if you could go any lower? Question. Question. Or is that the lowest you could go? You 12 against me. I'll give Negotiating you a... for healthcare always works out well. It's Dr. Cobra and he's expensive. That's an 11. <laughs> yeah, well, I have a 7, so yeah, he's going to be pretty expensive. That's, pr that's pretty much the bottom of the barrel I can do. All right, all right, all right. Is there any, like, something you could just put over it to mask it? Nothing. Sure. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Roll that bag. That's, that's not a problem. I am not an animal. <laughs> <laughs> that, that joke dates me, but if you got it, it's hilarious. Uh, yeah, he's going to give you a potato sack to wear <laughs> with holes out of it. Only... They're going to be like this, so you constantly have to readjust the sack. <laughs> if only they had cardboard here, you could or be a robot. A hockey mask. Uh, if, they have a, if they have like a marker, like a droll over my face, like a permanent marker. Oh, oh yes, yeah. Uh, Benita here can go ahead and uh, do you up. She is quite the cosmetologist. She studied for three whole days. Oh, that's I'd like to see her. Sure. Go to her. Okay. Uh, so she sits you down in the chair and begins to work on you. Felix, uh, as you are completely mesmerized by the landscape, uh, you get down there and you find that she has done a quick change into a smile. Uh, she appears to be on a very slender time frame and says, let's get this done. I'm going to need a performance check. <laughs> You're performing some weird acts, aren't you? I want to know what happens if he fumbles. I didn't fumble. Oh, uh, 15. Oh, oh. He oh. 15? Uh, you'll be fine. Now, uh, re-roll a straight-up d20 uh, to avoid any unfortunate actions such as childbirth, uh, <laughs> diseases, oh. things of that nature. <laughs> That's gross. 11. This is gross. <laughs> Not bad. Her performance uh, was a 10. Uh, oh. So uh, your dalliance uh, was quick, uninspiring, uh, but handled the task at hand. Uh, would you like to enjoy the afterglow <coughs> or are you ready to leave? It's, it's been a long couple of days on the trail. I'm going to enjoy the afterglow for just a moment. Well, I kind of survey my surroundings, and is she here still with me, or did she? She's she's uh, reattiring herself and taps the cask. Here you go, love. This is the one I need up. If you can get it up the stairs. Oh yes, I again really can get it up. <laughs> I will definitely let me uh, give me just a, a second here. I, it was. I understand a lot of people feel that way. A lot. A lot? <laughs> yes, a lot. Interesting. Um, I'm going to ask 
her politely. Should I go and see a doctor before I board my ship? Oh, dear Lord, you didn't give me something, did you? No, 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 no. I am asking because um, my back hurts now. <laughs> well, uh, yes, uh, where would I find a doctor in this town? Uh, there is a doctor right inside the city gate, uh, in between the pub and the inn. Perfect. Uh, and just another question. I am also looking for a weapon shop. Do you happen to know where I might find one? Uh, well, uh, considering you're already toting quite the weapon. Okay. I would, <laughs> I, I would say, uh, you are currently at this pub. Uh, the weapon shop would be somewhere back here near the Chapel of Fortuna. Ah, perfect. And I believe that's kind of in the direction of uh, Pete's Pips as well. Oh, that thief? Yeah, he's around the corner. He, he is a lousy lover. Ah, yes. Not everyone can be as romantic I, as I am. No, or as powerful as the berserkers up top. Yes, I did notice it was a little bit like a hallway. I am going to ask her a little bit more about Pete and why she said he's a thief. Oh, Pete, he sells loaded dice. That is just unacceptable. Oh, come, yeah. Come on, you don't come on say. love. I need you to get this ale uh, oh, yep, up there. Sure thing. I will help her with the ale and thank her, and I will give her a generous tip. And I will be on my way. Fair Thank enough. You. As you move the cask into place, uh, a stranger comes in and she goes, well, hello, love. How are you? <laughs> She's quite popular. One yeah, exactly. mm -hmm. I can understand why. Uh, so you may go to the doctor uh, for your back, uh, or you may find the weapon shop. Uh, you may go to the Chapel of Fortuna, or you can try Pete's because it's been, I'm hoping, longer than five minutes with that performance roll. Uh, you'd be surprised. I think I will go to Pete's Pips. I, I'm going to risk it on the my injured back. I think it'll heal, take care of itself at sea. You know. I, yeah, the rolling of the ocean should heal. Oh, yeah, it'll back. be fine. It'll it'll lull itself right out. I was a soldier and I worked around some stuff earlier. It'll be fine. I'm familiar with this. I need to really see Pete and I need to get to a weapon shop before we set sail later this afternoon. Which one do you want first? Pete's Pips. Give me a D12. Alrighty. Nine. Six. Man. Yeah, still five minutes. <laughs> five minutes. All right. Now I'm going to head over to the weapon shop. The cutlery shop? That's the name of it. <laughs> no, I'm not really looking for... Uh, I'll, if I'm standing by it, I'll poke my head in and ask him. Uh, it is a fine selection of blades, both long and short. It is not a kitchen place. It is a sword shop. That is what I'm looking for. I'm going to ask the uh, proprietor if he is in. Do I see the proprietor anywhere? Yes, he's dealing with a customer, a rather unscrupulous looking individual with a pencil thin mustache that he continually does this to. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to look around a little bit. Uh, specifically, what I'm looking for is a small dagger, something I can keep hidden on myself, that has a blade either made of silver or tipped with silver. In case Copius goes off the in reservation case, and you got to kill him? Yeah, yep. sure. In uh, case he becomes a vampire. A silvered dagger. Uh, would you like to look around, or do you want to wait till he gets done with Snidely Whiplash? I'm going to look around and see if I can find one that would fit my what I'm looking for, my criteria, as well as strike my fancy. Uh, give me a d20. Let's try a different d20 this time. A 10. Uh, you find a rather mundane looking one, but it does have a silver blade. Hmm. Is there a price there? Uh, not currently. There are no prices. If you have to ask, it's too expensive for you. Uh, yes. I think what I'm going to... I'm, I think I'm not going to try to rob the weapon shop. That just seems like a bad idea. I would say that's probably not a good idea. No, I might go and uh, politely 
interject myself in the other conversation and say, excuse me, sir, I'm on a bit of a tight timeline here. I was wondering if perhaps I could whoa, buy whoa, this. Whoa, 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 stretch. We are in negotiations for this blade. Uh, you look down and it is a silver dagger with a mermaid handle. So the mermaid body is here and the fin is out like this. A very fine looking weapon. But Snidely uh, seems indignant that you have interrupted his discourse. Interesting. What I must say that is a fine piece. How you much smell you... like shame. <laughs> I don't worry, that's shame with an ode of regret as well. <laughs> How much are you offering him for this piece? I am already finalizing it for 15 gold pieces. Go away, little man. Now, I don't mean to interject, but that is a fine piece. It surely is worth at least 20 gold pieces, which I will happily pay for right now. The proprietor takes note. I will, I'm starting to reach into my pocket as I say that, implying that I will pay cash on the barrel head. 22, Snidely uh, says. Mm, it's a fine blade, but I don't believe it's that fine. I wouldn't One expect piece. somebody of your ilk to recognize fine weaponry. It doesn't look like you could handle an ale wench. You'd be surprised. I am excellent at handling small instruments. <laughs> you have not inspired confidence. In <laughs> he rests his case, as Perry Mason would say. <laughs> uh, 22's the going good, uh, kind oh. sir, says the proprietor. Uh, lesson, I am in a hurry. 22 it is. If you will please, does it come with a scabbard? scabbard? Yes. It comes with a leather scabbard. I can throw in an ivory scabbard that looks like a dolphin, uh, but that's also going to be 25 gold pieces. But a fine addition to a fine weapon. Now, is that 25 on top or 25 total? On top. Ah. Oh, it's a fine piece, and I do... I do have a thing for ivory. Tell you what. 45 gold pieces. Snidely Whiplash grabs the dagger and heads right to the door. All of a sudden, you see a puff of green smoke come out at the door fixture, knocking Snidely to the ground, clattering the dagger onto the wooden floor. Uh, the proprietor comes out from around, steps on his groin, reaches down, picks up the dagger, and drags him out by the ankle, making sure to conk him on the door sill on the way out. He comes back in, stabs the dagger into <laughs> the uh, uh, countertop and says, I'm sorry, that was 47. Your offer was what? Um, yeah, yeah, 47. Yeah, that, that, no, 45, 47, you know. A fine choice. Uh, he reaches underneath the counter, whips out a whetstone. and immediately removes an eyebrow. Now, just a second here. Before, before we uh, do the transaction, I'm going to look at the blade and make sure that it's actually silver. It is. It is? Perfect. All right. Yeah, 47. Good enough. Uh, it, it is a silvered dagger uh, it, with a great scabbard. You are going to, you know what, uh, any charisma checks to impress people, eh, you're going to add one to that. Because it is a very, if, I, I know you had mentioned somewhere hidden, uh, if you display it openly, though, people are going to take notice. Interesting. Copious and Leaf. Uh, give me an odd even roll, one of you, please. <clears> odd. <throat> uh you find another pub, but it doesn't have a name on the outside. We'll go I, want, I want yeah. to look through the doors to make sure of the clientele. You know, I, it, Solid, has standards. Solid door. 
I'll push it open and look in. That's fine. Leaf's going through. As you push it open, uh, apparently a few bards are playing a noticeable song. Da -na -na, na -na -na. Da -da -na. You have entered the Blue Oyster. <laughs> oh boy! Police Academy. <laughs> yeah i know it that is, one it is a colorful and accepting bar uh it is magically illuminated by dim blue lights uh the largest thing in this place is the dance floor which is full uh there is a bar uh he's wearing chain mail but nothing underneath it Ew. take a quick look around see if i see a fish head Give me a perception check. Eighteen. Sorry. Oh, yes, you see Admiral Akbar, aka uh, Commodore Sixty Foe. Yeah. He's over at the bar uh, because of the construction of his head. He just has to tip his head back and pour the alcohol directly in. <laughs> Now I'll tell Copius, there's the admiral, captain of the ship that we're uh, going to seek passage on. So we need to approach him. I'm I'm like not listening to Leaf as he's saying something because I saw bards. So I'm going over to the bard. Okay, I'll go over to the captain. Okay, the bards are playing the music, so if you interrupt them, you do so at your own peril, or you can wait till they finish their wait, song. Wait till they're done with the song. Fair enough. Leaf, you walk up to the bar, uh, and there is. Uh, the captain, there is an individual with his head down on the bar, clearly inebriated. And you notice one thing about this place. It is very clean. Hmm. I'm going to approach the uh, the bar next to the captain and, and order an ale. Yeah. Uh, the bartender in chain mail only uh, quickly gathers you a beverage and slides it down the bar to you. Give me a dex check to make sure that you don't spill it all over uh, the captain. <laughs> 13. Yeah, I'm right on my dex. Yeah, you catch it. 13 is my dex. Okay. All yeah, right. You, you turn yeah, around, you notice Copius is eagerly awaiting the bards, uh, and you yep. notice the captain is just drinking Born away. He, he, he uses a pitcher, not a mug, not like a plebeian. So I'm going to uh, uh, speak to the captain and tell him that my comrades and I are seeking passage to Pleasure Drill. Hey, Drew. You a druid? Yes, I am. Mm. Are you a lucky druid? No, I can be. You got money? I might have, yes. Or leaf, it's a trap. <laughs> not yet, it's not. <laughs> uh, I only got a, I don't know, one room available. I think I'm not sure how much, how many, how many. <clears throat> I'm sorry, who are you again? I'm Leaf the Druid. I knew I... a Viking once by the name. Uh, and you want? He's a cousin. You, you're going where? Pleasure drill. Uh, do you know my first mate? I do. I met your first mate today. I suppose she sent you over to see me. Uh, she just said that I would need to talk to you to secure passage. You don't have any of those annoying tabaxi traits, do you? No, no, no. Okay. I can't bring her into a bar anymore because every time she orders a drink, she knocks it off. Costs me uh, money. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, how many? How many? How many people need to go? I have five companions. Are you sure about that count? Oh, and you. And uh, myself. So that's six. Is the count. Ah, uh, the rooms are kind of small. Is that going to be a pro is that going to be a problem if the rooms are small? No, not at all. Damn you, Felix. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure. Ah, uh, sounds good. 
10 gold pieces for each of you. 10? 10. How about each. five? D12 against me. Picked up that die 20 you give me. Eight. Uh, buy me a drink. I'll make it five for each of you. Sounds good. Barkeep. <laughs> Pours it down. Meet me at the slip in the morning, first okay. light, because I'm going to be hungover today. Yeah, I don't feel like leaving because I'm tired and I got business to attend to. So five gold pieces each. There's six of you. That's 30 gold. You Sounds pay good. me at first light. Sounds great. Will okay. do. Uh, copious, the song ends. da 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 uh, and uh, the crowd on the dance floor applauds acceptingly, and the bards all doff their cap and uh, give a flourishing wave. Can I help you as they hold out a cap? I'll throw a coin in the cap, a gold coin in the cap for them, or two. How many? How many bards are there? Three. Uh, one. One for each. I'll throw three gold in the the cap. What can I do for you, Stretch? Uh, just looking for a conversation about somebody to maybe put some uh, uh, some thought to a, a, a song and putting it out there as part of their normal playset. That's all I'm asking for. Hey, everybody. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a five-minute break. Uh, don't you go nowhere. We'll be right back. Uh, <laughs> they take you over to a table and... Uh, I'll buy a round of drinks for them. Oh, that's, that's going to help you. Uh, what is your proposal? Well, I, I, I would like a tale that bridges two of my favorite things, uh, stories of myself and my, my uh, family's brewery distillery. And I just wanted to see something. I'm thinking, you know, something along the lines. I'm thinking something, that, a really good riff that ends like copious bitters, da, 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 copious bitters, you know, something good. But you guys work on it because you're the musicians. And then I'm going to start telling them about my tale. And, I'm, and, and again, Copious versus the, the earth elemental, copious versus the wizardling, copious versus the, the carnival of the damned. I give you a persuasion check to see if you can uh, charm these boys. Copious versus honesty. <laughs> that, that was a huge battle that he lost. Oh, can I? Uh, I did not roll well. So if they, if, uh, tw 12, I didn't fumble, but it was a 12. Uh, <laughs> If needed, I will try a fey presence to charm them. <clears throat> fey presence it is. What do I need to save? Uh, you would need 14. There's three of them. An 11, a 2, and a nat 20. Uh, two of them feel that uh, an agreement could be struck with the right amount of currency. Uh, the third one, who seems to be the head of the Marvettes, uh is not interested uh because he has to go find some uh, plush design for his instrumentation uh with two brothers who are on a mission from god uh go ahead and convince the 20 and i'll i'll, I'll see what they can do all right what do you need add another d20 right, come on come on come on come on come on 21 how do you want it? How, how do you want it to go? Uh, just talk about the, the strength that Copius has. His magnificence has been bolstered by the fine courageous. drinks that come. Courageous. From <laughs> the courageous. Copius the courageous. Uh, the courageous Copius. His fortitude bolstered by this fine brew. I'm going to give them all a taste of my family's thing. This is what you're promoting right here. A five. Oh, great. A 15. There we go. And it's three. <laughs> so the Nat 20 guy liked it. Uh, the other two, not so much. It's for, it's for uh, you know, a dis distinguished palate. Mm. Truly. Uh, so uh, do you know this copious person? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I mean, he's, he's totally indignant by that, by the way. I mean, he's like climbing up on the table to look at him. Like, obviously, that's me. 
So you want something like copious bitters, he's our man, copious bitters, he'll do it if no one else can. I'm not yeah, very good at but, this, but, <laughs> but better. More, but better, yeah, that, but better. You know, because there's nothing, nothing worse than someone that's not a creative trying to explain how to a creative how to be creative, right? Copious is, is not a creative. Okay. Uh, come see us in two days. We'll see what we got. So I'm shipping out. I will leave you some money. And I will, when I come back and I hear the song, I will pay the other half of what I promised you. How much are you offering? I'm asking, what do they think for this, this uh, uh, needed work? What is, what, what is it going to be pri uh, proprietary or is it to be no. shared by others Shh. in our field? It's they can keep it proprietary if they wish, but I would expect the cost to be, you know, reduced if they're going to hold on to the rights to it. They would confirm that that would be the case. Ah, uh, fifteen gold. I'm going to look really serious and try to hide the smile, <laughs> I, and then say, uh, "Okay," but half now and half when I get back. Round up. Done. Deal. We'll see what we can do. I'll slide it across to him. Is there some place we can send it, or are you just going to come back assuming you survive? Coming back as soon as I survive, but I'm going to give them, send a messenger to the Volbitters Distillery when you can with, with what you've produced, and I'll get, you know, put my chop on a piece of paper that they can, where they can send it to. Uh, the Marvets uh, have agreed to your terms. They take your eight gold pieces and uh, tell you, oh, we've got to do another set now, so pardon us. Uh, and they get up, shake your hand, and head back to the stage as the dance floor begins to fill. Uh, looking across the way, you see Leaf come to an accord with the captain, who seems to be swilling beer like it's a bath. Uh <laughs> You've made yet another successful rain. Uh, I'm losing track a little bit. I think I'm at Noodle. Noodle, uh, she's working on you. Uh, she's complimenting you on your impressive eyelashes. Uh, and you can feel her putting on a substantial base coat of makeup. Uh, but she continually strokes your ego and tells you that uh, you're, you're, you're going to have a lot of trouble getting out of town because the ladies are going to pull you for their whims. Uh, she continues on uh, and she asks uh, if you will be donating a certain sum of money for her artwork. Yes, I will. How much are you going to pay her? How about... 20 gold pieces. Does that seem fit? Oh, that seems great. Great. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the oh, body no. buddy or? <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure none of them come back and kill me. Uh, you know what you fill drywall with, right? <laughs> He's a porcelain doll. But I mean, he gave her 20 gold, so she's going to make it look. I was actually going to make him look like the Joker, but if he's giving her 20 gold, there's no way I'm screwing him over on that one. Uh, Felix, uh, with your purchase firmly in place, what would you like to do? Yeah, sorry, I was muted. Uh, I am going to thank the shopkeeper. I'm going to display my new dagger for the plus one in charisma. And okay. then I'm going to leave the shop and make my final trip to Pete's Pips. If he's not, if he's still back in five minutes. D12. <laughs> Let me find it. 11. <laughs> 11. 11. You got an 11? I got an 11 as well. Reroll. Oh, oh. Five. Two. Closed. Uh, he says he's over at the, uh, a new sign has been added at, at Temple of Fortuna. Uh, I don't, I don't have all day to go on a wild goose chase because I'm not with the rest of the party. So I don't right. know that we are leaving tomorrow. I still think we're leaving now. So I'm going to start getting out of this area and try to get back over to the harbor. 
That's fair. Noodle, uh, she finishes the work, uh, thanks you graciously, uh, tells you she'd give you a big old kiss, but doesn't want to ruin the makeup. She does not have a mirror available, so you have no idea what you look like. Uh, would you like to leave? Yeah, I'd like to leave. Is the farmer's market still open? Or uh, it? They are finishing up uh, stripping down the tables. Is there, uh, any, like, is there any like lo local like um, fruit sellers or grocery stores or whatever? I don't know. Anywhere? Yeah, there'll be fruit sellers there. All right, then I'd like to go to any place that sells oranges because they don't want to get scurvy. I think that's how you don't get scurvy, right? Yeah, scurvy and rickets. Right? Nicely done. Somebody's thinking outside the box. Somebody has done their homework. Uh, yes, there is an orange dealer there. It is a uh, even female. Uh, her charisma is 14. Uh, she looks at you. How may I serve you, my lord? All right. First, I would like some oranges. And second, how does this look? Does it look better? I got it fixed, like from someone. It is very striking, my lord. Uh, I have a box of oranges right here. How much would it cost? Uh, it, it's going to cost for the whole box, uh, it's going to cost. Four gold pieces. Okay. How many are in the box, actually? I'll say two dozen. All right. I'll take, I'll just take like a dozen then. Half that. No. Have I done something to upset you, my lord? No, no, not at all. No. Okay. Thank you. Uh, she takes your money and gives you the oranges in a, a sack. Uh, give me a perception check. I got a nine. You hear some kind of disturbance uh, just down the road away. All right, I'm gonna to try. your left. I got my oranges. I think I'm gonna just gonna try and avoid it for now. You're gonna what? I'm gonna uh, avoid it and head back towards the ships we're docking. Fair enough. Uh, back to Felix. Uh, as you scurry back to the way, uh, give me a perception check. Sixteen. You hear a great disturbance. Uh, it sounds a lot like fist-to-face action. Uh, as you cut through... Do, 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 do. Uh, as you cut through here, uh, you get to this little plaza where your pub lover is from, and there is a enormous man beating the living crap out of three berserkers. Uh, in the doorway is uh, your paramour, who seems quite upset and is trying to calm the large individual. Uh, you also hear him shout out, I'm tired of you cheating on me, and I'm going to beat any man who's been with you. <laughs> B12 against me. Oh, yet no. again. <laughs> Just say, no, I'm not coming to help. You play, you pay. Oh, I am definitely not coming to help, but apparently I might. I got a three. I got a 12. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she shouts and uh, defends the berserkers and says it wasn't them. That's the man who took my virtue <laughs> and points directly at you. The crowd parts, uh, leaving you with a tombstone-esque showdown. This guy is covered in their blood. These three berserkers who were quite handy with the axe, have seen to have taken a rather royal beating. Uh, he looks at you and with his meaty sausage-like finger goes, I need to talk to you. Me, sir, I don't know what you would have with me. I am merely a traveler just passing through. I am on my way to the dock right now. I need to go catch a boat. 
my common law wife, the woman that I love, says that you have soiled her virtue. Me? No, you uh, <laughs> you must be mistaken. It couldn't be me. Persuasion check, but you are displaying the blade, so you get a plus one. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> It was a two plus one, so that's a three plus another one, a four. As you begin to mount a defense, <laughs> he's going to crack you in the face. Uh, not with a four, he wildly swings. Let's go with initiative. Oh. The man is not armed, by the way. Eight. 11. You are up. He has swung wildly off balance, possibly from the blood of the berserkers dripping in his eye. Okay, I since I'm in the city limits here, I don't want to draw weapons right now. And nice you said he, he swung. He's kind of off balance. I am going to attempt to kick him in the knee and bring him down. Very nice. Go ahead. I will what let do I need use, to roll for that? I'll, I'll let you use dexterity as your modifier. Okay. Oh, okay. Run, Forrest. Run, Forrest. Run. A five. I need a different uh, dice run, here. Forrest, run! You deftly go to kick him, but you place your foot in between both legs and Da -da -da, da -da -da. <laughs> you can hear the blue oyster music in the background as you two are now face to face. Uh, his turn. Uh, he's going to try and shove you. Uh, 10? 15. Uh, he gives you a push, but doesn't realize that uh, you're sturdy. Uh, it's back to you. A crowd gathers around and starts to take bets. Do you want to? throw your lot in on this one <laughs> i would obviously bet on myself of course all right this time uh, his chin hairs come to about right here on you <laughs> i am going to once again put my hand on this dagger and say sir i believe you have me mistaken for someone else perhaps we should de-escalate this situation right now persuade me oh boy Not natural, 20. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's not worth that much to me. Keep your blade holstered. And he takes a step back. That's what I thought. Well, good day, sir. Uh, money exchanges hands in the crowd. There is a lot of groaning. Clearly, you were uh not odds on favorite at this endeavor uh off in the distance you see an individual carrying a box of oranges dressed in attire that you have become quite familiar with uh it is your associate uh noodle aka man fang from the back uh as you zip past the lady she says we still have a few minutes <laughs> i'll be back in a few short weeks <laughs> uh, that's right he's gonna beat you to death uh, oh yeah would you like to catch up to man fang or not yes i would as you catch up to man fang you grab him by the shoulder you spin him around and you look at him puzzled is he still wearing the bag over his head no he does not have a bag on his head <laughs> uh, that, 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 that's, that's been removed uh he has been uh I'll say Pablo picasso <laughs> Uh This side is very attractive, while this side is very commanding. Uh, it makes for an odd comparison, but if he continually two does- Two-Face. Yes, he is Two-Face. That's good. Oh. It's better than the giant scar that gave him zero charisma. Until much... it rains. <laughs> How much charisma does this give me? Still zero? Oh, you'll get plus two for right now until it rains. Oh, hey, don't worry. If it rains on it, I'll, you know, give me 20 gold. I'll throw a bucket of paint on your head. I'll need, um, I'll need like a, I'll get an umbrella or something. Buy a hat. Buy a hat. Yeah, I'll buy a hat. Buy a mask. Some, like a sombrero. 
Yeah, like a big, like a big sun hat. That'll keep the rain off yeah. me. Oh, oh, get an umbrella hat. One of those. Oh, Ray Rayner it. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, so Felix, you and Manfang are caught up. Leaf and Copious, you guys have made your deal. Where would you two like to go? Meanwhile, uh, Copious, I'm thinking we need to go to the inn for the night. We have to be up at first light to catch the boat. I would, but I really feel like I need to find a healer. Just to You'll get my wounds fine. looked at. You'll be fine. My face is fixed next and I, I would like to also find, if I can, I'd like to buy a supply of some, maybe some healing salve to take with me on this long voyage and this adventure we're about to go on. Oh, we can do that. That would be more clerical than uh, pediatric. Yeah. We'll go, we'll go clerical. Clerical. Uh, there are some shrines out here, but obviously... Uh, this is not the upper crust of society. Uh, in Minions of Habu, you remember that there was a very potent shrine right there uh, that you did not anger or offend. Oh, there you go. That's different. Is, is that which side of the, the fire <laughs> was that shrine? Uh, the fire was through here. So we're going through the fire district? Yes. Oh, sure. Leaf, do you want to join me? Sure. All right. We're heading towards the, 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 the temple. As you guys wander in, uh, you recognize Felix uh, and kind of somebody else-ish. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it slightly resembles Mayan Fang, only more virulent or very, uh, however you pronounce it, uh, very yeah. manly looking. Uh, he's There's just a man in the fang. Yeah. Man fang, what the Can't, hell happened I, to I you? I want to know, is it possible to find a, a magician who could make that permanent? Oh, I'm sure. I said man fang, because I'm assuming he's sharing the story. If we find out this is just makeup, I'm like, we have to find a way to make this a permanent feature, man. You got to keep this. Yeah, Noodle, do you tell him it's makeup or do you tell him you've been cured? Um, I'll tell him I've been cured by the person down the road. You could go there and he'll fix your right up. He'll, he'll, he's great with it. Oh, oh, oh is he? Prices are so low. Let's let's do that. I'm going to check to see if he's trying to deceive me. Has he already eaten those oranges? What's in those oranges? He's just got one orange that he's eating. I think orange. right. Ugh. Yeah. One orange. Yeah, so he's got eleven more oranges. Yeah, he's he's eating the rind and all though. He's yeah. just... eating it like an apple. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, I know, I know people that do that. It's the now, weirdest onion I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> At least he was smart enough to look for the oranges. I got to give him credit there. Yeah, that is true. It's like better guys, than the rest we, of us. We've we've yeah, secured yeah. passage on a ship yeah. in the in the morning at first light. Right now we're heading into the. To a temple to get some healing potions and things for our adventure that awaits us. But before, excellent. Um, what and, about our zonkeys? Uh, uh, what's next? Uh, Haggis and uh, yeah. Robert are looking after the zonkeys. Yes. Are they going to look after them for the night? Or we uh, we they, have to find a stable. Yeah, they're they're going to go look for stables. Okay, perfect. perfect. That's good. I don't yeah, want to lose works. my prize, albino zonkey. I think Robert would point out that if he has to hear one more blatant lie about the fantastic copious feed bitters, <laughs> he will beat him to death with his zonkey. <laughs> so every, he has stepped away. Every tavern he goes into in this town will be singing those songs. That's the goal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You cut off the zonkey's head and put it in your bed. Actually, he's I, probably I, doing things to your zonkey right now. <laughs> You gotta cut off its head and put it in your bed before you sleep. As long as it's uh, happy and alive, I don't care. <laughs> I, th I think your song's gonna be more of a jingle, like the Maple <laughs> Leaf song. <laughs> we'll have Charlie Harper write that one. Uh, so, uh, Manfang and Leaf, do you guys want to, or I'm sorry, Manfang and Felix, do you want to accompany them to the shrine? Yeah, yeah. I'll go with them. Sure. Hey, all right. Nope. So, let the party. As you four walk over towards the shrine along the river walk, Manfang, you get a significant amount of curious onlookers to the yeah, point they love me. where they 
approach closely. One individual comes up. And he's just following behind you. Can I turn around and look at him a few times? Not to put him. I am uh, making an artistic uh, rendition of you so that I can uh, explain to my friends what I have seen. Just make sure to tell them in the group that I'm the leader. Uh, by all means, I can tell uh, that you are the leader. Nah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> He's not very good, but in 300 years, this thing's going for a thousand gold pieces. Yeah, well, yeah, well. yeah. yeah. Hold on. Sign. <laughs> uh, you finally arrive at the temple of Fiducia. Fiduciary. We'll go with Fiduciary. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm sure it'll be inexpensive. Yeah. Uh, and you walk in, and the uh, oh, acolytes yeah. and the clerks all wear white linen robes with uh, gold piping and embroidery along their golden uh, tops. How may we serve? I know, it looks so great. I got fixed. It looks nice, doesn't it? It looks. Thank you. Uh, Thank how, you. how may we, uh, then he looks at Felix and he looks at Copious. Uh, you two D12 against me, please. Six. Copious, he does not uh, seem to notice you, but Felix, he notices you. Aren't you one of the heroes that defeated the cultists of Habu? Yes, we are. How may these humble servants assist you with ridding our city of despair? We are looking, I, I completely forget, honestly. Where are we? Are we in the inn? No, no we're you're in the temple of fiduciary. Okay, yeah, I missed that part. And what are we looking for here? We're, 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 How did I totally miss that? <laughs> Hi, thank you. Hey, you were you even listening? Copious. I remember copious. drawing the picture and I was taking some notes and then I was like, <laughs> okay, okay. And I think about it like. We came uh, down here to get some healing potions and Copious is looking for a little special healing. I am looking for a little special healing myself. And I think Manfang may it, want to talk like to him about crazy. that too. Uh, I'm looking to permanent. Okay, okay. Uh, we are looking for uh, an apothecary of some sort. I'm looking for an apothecary of some sort, perhaps with healing balms or salves to. We at the Temple of Fiduciary of would be happy to help the heroes uh, in, in their needs. Uh, we have a limited supply, however, uh, it, it is the least we can do for you, kind sir. I believe it is Felix the Gambler, is it not? <laughs> my application uh, precedes me yes it is uh well you were famous and then you guys seem to have disappeared for a month uh, we wow. feared that the minions of habu resurrected and uh slew you in your sleep it is nice to see that you have survived no no we were off patrolling the land we made it as far as snow and we helped lumberton and we saved the villages out in that area snow I've heard a tale of Snowf about a great and powerful leader who led a group. Is that you? Oh, nope. I'm going, I'm going, at he this point, I'm going to side him. eye <laughs> and just be like, really? Really, Copious? Uh, the clerics look at you, Copious, and go, and now the, uh, we had heard that the person was uh, great in stature. Now it's me. I that's me. I'm oh. to totally wow. going to jump and just look as regal as possible. Performance. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, with the charisma bonus. Uh, straight up. Straight up. Twelve. Uh-huh. Uh huh. So, Felix the Gambler, uh, how many were you thinking? How many potions? Yes. Let's see. One, two, three, four, um, four of them. Uh, we have eight, but if all you need is four, I'm, I meant four times two, you know, because we need one for each hand and I, sometimes I forget. Uh, the cleric signals to an acolyte and he brings a box of eight little ceramic jugs, really tiny jugs and goes for you. The price is reduced. Reduced to zero? How much would you like to give him? I will give him two gold pieces. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> well, you <coughs> are the heroes. <laughs> More. <laughs> I, I uh. meant... Two gold pieces is all I had in this pocket. Let me check my other <laughs> pocket. I'm going to kind of ask Copius, how much should I pay? 40. Yes, I meant two gold pieces per potion. That is a, a very kind offer. And then uh. I will... Give a little something for your trouble. <laughs> make it twenty. Oh, no, but actually, I'm going to give him twenty gold pieces. Yeah. Gold pieces. You, my son, are a gem, and everything they have ever said about you is most likely somewhat accurate. Yes, <laughs> and he, it is somewhat accurate, <laughs> except for whatever Griselda says about duration. It was. It was damp in that cellar, and you know it's been a while. There was a lot of noise, and you know I have some things on my mind uh, that mm -hmm. were bothering. Me. Uh, he hands you over a, a small little box uh, filled with hay and straw to keep the uh, potion bottles from clanging forth and breaking them open. Go uh, with fiduciary's blessing. Um, what what's what's the strength on those? Uh, 1d8 plus 2, no ones. So you'll re-roll ones. But if you roll three ones in a row, it's a one. <laughs> yeah. uh, Man Fang, the cleric. So is just puzzle. I feel like I got to point out the fact that Felix is the one that received the potions. Oh, yeah, we know. And paid for the potions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we know. We could does Felix that. want reimbursed for the potions, or is Felix saying, "I'm going to lord these over you through the entire adventure"? What are uh, we going? Saying with? that if you guys want them, you better be either buying them now because the price is only going up <laughs> once we set sail. I'm I'm buying two of them from Felix <laughs> right hey, this hey, moment. Felix, Felix. Uh, <laughs> what I thought. I wish I wouldn't have said that, but I know I would forget by next week. Yeah, I can help with I can help with the paying for that doctor back there. Even though he's pretty cheap, I can help with the pay. For the yeah, so hey. you guys are you guys looking for potions then? Yeah, uh, I yes, want two. I want two. Okay, okay. You heard the price. It was forty gold pieces. So R Robert <laughs> You're gonna make two people very happy. <laughs> Robert and Crabstain are going to be thrilled to no end. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah, it was uh, it was 40 gold pieces. So I'll take 10 from each of you. And you can it's have your funny, two considering we're all standing there when we heard you give him 20, that it's now 40. The price is going up. Well, you know, I'm a, I'm a it's healer. 20 I think from you him, it's 40 potions. from me. That's, That's quite a markup we've got going on there, isn't it? <laughs> All right, fine, fine. You drive a hard bargain, but <laughs> I'll give them to you. But just remember, you owe me. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I really do I'm owe gonna, you, man. I'm, I'm going to give, so. I'm gonna give oh, you money. Was... right now. I'm giving you the money right now. Yes, I'm going to give you yes, 10 gold you. right now yes. for, for two potions. Look at that. Uh, 10 gold? No, it was, I thought we just covered this. Like, 
That's you said there was forty from the eight. No, I don't I'm understand. You a I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> More potions. I'm just gonna stick with the healer. Okay, it'll be a lot. All right, fine. I was trying to pull one. I was just joking, guys. Come on, lighten up. What's the rogue is just joking. This? He's not really a thief. I'm not a thief or He's a rogue shark or type. Or yeah. Come on. Yeah. Everybody, perception check. Oh, <laughs> I got a fifteen. Twenty-two. 16. Uh, everybody but Man Fang hears whistles indicating guard activity is outside the temple. I just gotta, I gotta clarify. Did we exchange the potions? Did we not exchange the potions? I exchanged you... the potions. Oh. Leaf, did you take the potions as well or no? For ten, no, I ain't paying you 10 gold. No, no, I was potions. just joking. It's only five. You guys heard me. You were right there. It's Five. Two of them for five. Two of them for five. That's what we just bought them. Why not? I'll give you five gold. You give me my two potions. Yeah, perfect. Fine. Okay. There you five. go. Five, five gold. It was just a joke. Come on, guys. Why not? I'm going to leave it. I'm going to put the money on the table. I'm not going to get close enough for your hand to go in my pocket. Oh, no, that's smart. <laughs> I'm going to do the same. All right. Yeah. So it only cost me five for the two potions. Hagas and Robert are going to be thrilled to no end. Yeah, they're not going to find out. Well, let's, let's charge them 20 of those gold pieces. Be Man there. Fang, you should ask him about healing your face. Um, uh, no, my, my face is fine. Uh, no, your face is not fine. That's 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 pain. Yeah, I could just find a way to get it permanent. Permanent. And then okay. we'll be... Oh, that's fine. Uh, we're, we're hearing commotion out there, and I'm starting to panic. I'm like, could somebody take a look at this? <laughs> It's, did you see the people back there? They're following me because they love me and they love my face. The cleric looks at Copius as he pulls down his scarf and goes, and he kind of reaches down along his sash and pulls out a crystal vial and holds it very close. Uh, how'd you get that? Love bite. Hmm. Uh huh. Have you been with Griselda? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna no. hear that and say, "Well, <laughs> what?" I'm gonna stand behind him doing this. Griselda is one of our more ardent worshippers and uh, <laughs> enjoys our healing services. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but Does this potion take care of that? What Griselda has? Yeah. Uh, I, as far as I know, Griselda has been healed by Mighty Fiduciary. If not, you'll probably have to take two of those. Oh, <laughs> I, I was just asking for a friend. For a friend. Always for a friend. This no, friend? Yes, for a friend. Uh, this friend? <laughs> no, no, different friend. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Copious, they want you to lay down on a... Uh, stone couch so that they can examine you a little bit more sure on fine, your fair. stomach <laughs> no. uh on his side so that they can adequately look at it uh they call Knock, over that better be a thermometer <laughs> you say that, that thing better have numbers on it when you pull it out <laughs> oh it's gonna have ridges i'm sure uh they look at him and they call over an elder cleric uh who it's clear this guy is blind uh and they go over and there's a brief discussion copious uh you catch some of the hush tones and they uh, fang uh, vampire uh, uh the old man reaches down and the the head cleric moves it over uh and the cleric sticks his fingers directly into the seeping wound and you <laughs> take six hit points of burn damage oh, God. and scream <laughs> unmercifully he was eating uh salt and vinegar chips before he stuck his <laughs> that's in. right uh he pulls out his fingers 
and he waddles off. Uh, you are getting a really burning sensation here. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, if I'm not completely insensible, I'm going to ask, what in the world are you doing? What's the verdict, Doc? What's the outcome? <clears throat> uh, we believe uh, the high priest has healed you. Well, thank you. And they're holding out their hand for money, aren't they? Uh, what I'm going to I'm going to ask in between squeals and grimaces, what what would be an appropriate donation for for the high priest's time? One hundred gold pieces. Son of a biscuit. <laughs> I don't have that kind of money on me right now, but how about if I give you some for some gems that I've recently collected on my many adventures and when I saved the town of uh, Salt Fork or whatever it was called. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the hero of snow f or Salt Fork <laughs> or pickled onions. Uh, yeah, they accept gems. All right, I will pull some gems out that I took in exchange instead of the gold uh, <laughs> and give them... Uh, uh, a couple of them. I think the entire bag was worth a hundred gold pieces, so I'll split like a third of it out and give it to him. Your gracious donation is well accepted. Thank you and be healed. Please note to change the bandage for the next two days. Okay. Do you have bandages you can sell me? Because I don't know that I have any. That'll be another hundred dollar donation. I know that's what I'm waiting on. <laughs> Uh, they call an acolyte over who brings uh, just strips of uh, canvas-like cloth. Uh, when it clots on there, <laughs> you're going to yell when you take it off. Uh, but yes, this should do. Okay, perfect. Thank you. I'm going to re replace my uh, one of the new cravats and put it on. Uh, for some reason, the uh, tailor, or the weaver rather, who made the fabric has uh, adorned the fabric with his name. So as you put on uh, the bandage, it says Rover <laughs> across your neck. <laughs> yeah, does, I'm going to hold up my other. Does my other one say Fido? And uh, <laughs> yeah, sure, we'll go with Fido. <laughs> Fido. So I've got Rover, Fido, Prince, what? Rusty. Rusty. <laughs> Champ. Champ. You got to have Champ. Lassie. <laughs> Lassie. Uh, Renton Copious. Renton Copious. Yes. So make sure you change the uh, padding every day, and it's going to sting, but you should be fine. I thank them profusely. All right, if we're done here. Let's let's. Uh, is there still a noise outside? Uh, the sound has uh, diminished substantially. Okay. There's an inn over by the wharf that I think probably would be a good place to spend uh, the rest of what's left of the night. I thought we were already in the inn. <laughs> nope, you are in uh, the Dworkin district. Yes, right, the, the inn is over here. Uh, Felix, that's because the virus has already begun to attack your brain yeah. from Griselda. Yeah. So, what, so what's his name going to be now? Felix yeah. Amin? Uh, it's uh, <laughs> Syphilitic <laughs> Felix is now uh, his name. Like Felix, Capone. <laughs> Felix Capone. <laughs> or Edie Felix Amin. As, uh, as you step outside, copious, uh, the sunlight's uh, not... Not, not as bright no, here. Correct. Now that my, cool. my VD's yeah. been cured by the yeah. high priest. Uh, you notice the last uh, remnants of guards headed out of the city towards the area your associates are at. <laughs> We're headed that way then. Yep. Odd Robert, even Haggis. Oh, geez. Uh, okay. Uh, you guys head out that way and in this main artery, <laughs> you notice a collective crowd. Here is the exit gate. Right mm -hmm. here in this gray area, there is an assembled throng of people surrounding some kind of disturbance in the middle. There are a significant amount of Cragwich tabards there uh, with the guards pushing back against the crowd. Uh, you hear familiar voices protesting their innocence uh and one uh boisterous individual oh boy uh damn it 
uh, one boisterous individual complaining loudly uh, that he should be rewarded because he has stopped a theft in progress. The voice belongs to Robert of, he's not Robert of Zeppelin anymore, what is he? Robert of Fire. Robert of Fire's voice. Would you oh like boy. to attempt to break in? Sure. I'll throw an orange at him and say, get over here. <laughs> Throwing an orange at the guards or Robert? Now that I say that, that might not be the greatest idea. Because I, might I disagree. Not. I disagree entirely. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I won't throw an orange and just yell at him. Just say, get over here. I, have I think, a hey, you said it. You've done it. That's how I vote. Yeah, uh, go ahead and give me a attack uh, roll for the orange. Uh, card laid, card played. Yeah. What would I do, like, like on strike? Uh, dexterity is your modifier. All right. Because you're heaving it. Oh, good. That's a good look. Oh, I don't even have to roll to know that you hit the captain of the city watch <laughs> in the back of the head with an orange. Um, Quick, look the other way. <laughs> oh, you're holding the bag of oranges. <laughs> you are now down to 10, by the way. 10 oranges. Oh, man, I'm left in my orange. <laughs> oh, don't worry. You can probably ask the captain of the guards if he could toss that back to me <laughs> that's kind of expensive you should just point at felix and say that son of a bitch is banging everything in town and throwing oranges at the cards <laughs> that's exactly what i'm gonna say that's exactly what i'm gonna say uh the captain of the watch orders his men to push everybody back uh, as he is apparently used to being uh, fruit uh, <laughs> and it is clear that Haggis and Robert of Fire are in a vehement argument protesting their innocence. Uh, beneath them on the ground is a face down individual, uh, still with a weapon in his back. <laughs> it, the weapon belongs to Robert. It appears as though he has slain someone. I will take perception checks from all four of you to see if you overhear the problem. Eleven. Eight. Nineteen. Twenty-two. Leaf, Noodle, you hear that Robert is protesting that his associate's albino zonkey was nearly stolen by the decedent and he had no other means to go ahead and uh, but marshal weapons to prevent the theft from occurring. Uh, the guard captain wants to know where this mysterious friend who owns the uh, pale zonkey is at. You know, I'm gonna, um, I'm just gonna have my oranges to Felix real quick and say, <laughs> I own the here you go. This is for my healing potions. <laughs> I'll take those oranges. I know about scurvy. Yeah, you know scurvy. Now price is going up on those oranges. Yes, it was mine, and I thank you for not letting my zonkey get stolen. Oh, oh, your zonkey. Your zonkey. It's stolen. Stolen. Odd your zonkey, even Felix's, because you had the other pale one, right? Yeah, he had the other pale one. No. I did, yes. Yeah, I had one of the albinos. It is noodles. All right. That's your zonky, dude. Hey, any zonky in a storm, you know. Robert yeah. of Zeppelin uh, points you. Get your butt over here and tell him this was your zonky. Yes, it was, it was my zonky. Persuade me. <sighs> <laughs> Hmm. 15. Not that bad. It's okay. Uh, I assume you had personal belongings uh, on the mount? Yes, a few. The captain of the guard. Uh, confirms with your assessment and uh, 
he says, uh, Robert and Haggis. <laughs> I just Haggis. realized what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ha Robert Haggis uh, will be vindicated as this was a known horse thief, or in this case, a zonkey thief. Uh, and they may return to their business about stabling these animals. Uh, and I lost where I put this stupid uh, thing. So you know what? I'm just going to share the other one. Nah, I can't share the other one. It's got notes on there. Uh, stable? <laughs> yeah. The stable is nearby. Uh, it is actually the T uh, there. Let me... Bust. Yeah, it, it is. It's it's right there. So uh, the stable master is right there. He was waiting to see how everything played out um, before he was willing to accept Robert's uh, payment. This is the stable here. This is where the fight occurred. Okay. So um, with that, he uh, Robert, uh, because Haggis is clearly calmer uh robert demands to know what you guys have been doing all day long because he has been saving the zonkeys and damn it he wants to find a bard to sing the praises of his zonkey saving ability good luck with that <laughs> copious has got all the bards tied up <laughs> writing songs about him you're gonna have to try later Robert will do a significant eye roll, mutter under his breath, uh, and point out that everybody owes him five gold pieces so that their zombie stable. doesn't get stolen and gets to remain in the okay. stable. All right. Yep, perfect. Uh, with that being said, uh, you've had quite the busy mid-afternoon. Might be time to uh, get a room. Yes. Oh, would you like to do the in in this area or go back within the city walls? I'd rather do this area myself. That's one for this area. I'll go to this area. Okay. I'm tired. Fair enough. Uh, this is an area prone to semen, uh, aka rowdy individuals. Uh, everybody, go ahead and do a constitution check. Uh, to see how much peace and quiet you will get from these mariners. That 20. You 19. Sleep like a log, like a log. 13. 17. Uh, Noodle sleeps like a log. Felix, eh, you've been itchy all night long. Yeah, <laughs> when you mentioned <laughs> semen in this area. Yeah. Yeah. That's scared. Uh, let's see how Robert and, and, uh, Haggis did. Not sharing a cabin with Felix. That's all I want to point out now. Robert's fine. Uh, sorry, Felix. You're the only one that had a really crappy night. They got 16, so <laughs> they both slept like a log. Nice beds, you know. Really spongy. <laughs> one might even go so far as to say absorbent. Uh, you know, Felix, you may have just had a little bit of an itch all night. I think I've had the itch all afternoon. <laughs> well, there's a cream for that, and you've got two yep. potion bottles. Uh, and it's blue. <laughs> with that, gentlemen, uh, I think you have achieved uh, most of the means for success. Uh, next week, we will remind Leaf that he forgot to mention zonky passengers, and that price will go up. <laughs> or you can sell them here. Uh, I thought we were going to stable them here while we were gone. We're taking them with us. No, you that's fine. That, I don't think you're that confident that you could try to, like the giant man might steal it, you know. The, oh, he's still looking for Felix. Yeah. Sorry, that was pillow talk. Are we taking the zonkeys with us? Yes, I am. Felix and copious? Uh, yeah, I figured we were. Yeah. I, as long as the shipmaster will take them. It'll be 10 gold pieces per for the zonkeys. That includes that, that's going to be 15 gold total per person. That includes food. So. Yep. I got oranges. I don't eat food. Uh, no, you don't. I have oranges. <laughs> he's got oranges, and he's only got 10 of them. <laughs> so yeah. Way to go, dude. Hey, can I run back before I go to bed? Can I, oh. no. Well, I have bad news. It's been a long night. I'm only going to have eight oranges in the morning. <laughs> 
Well, you're going to be Don Ricketts. <laughs> uh, so uh, you have successfully booked passage and you will be headed out to sea. If everybody pays what they need, uh, we will have one encounter next week before you arrive on the jungle shores, if that works for you. That works. Uh, AJ, okay. final thoughts. What would you think? Oh, I thought it was great. This was yeah. This was a lot of fun. It was yeah. really Noodle. <laughs> I thought it was great. I got to do a lot. My face looks great. I have so many adoring fans. Yeah, most of your face is going to end up on the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be butt ugly again in the morning as it kind of sticks to you. <laughs> you know what? The pillow's just got to come with me. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Marketplace, copious. So, uh, what'd you think? I, I have mixed emotions about being cured of vampirism, but the VD, I fear that was a bad thing to do in a jungle. So, at least the sunlight doesn't bother you anymore. The sunlight no longer burns. That's yep. that's a real plus. No, there's only one person burning now. That's <laughs> uh, and Frank Senior, final thoughts. Uh, uh, I could probably heal. Uh, Felix of that, but I'm damn sure not going to. I'm enjoying it way too much. I use gloves. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. And just uh, so copious knows, one stateroom for all six of us. Just wait. You guys are all going to get this, too. I'm going to share it. One stateroom for five of us, because no one's been around that diseased horde, the Felix. <laughs> Perfect. Well, one state. What I'm oh. hearing is one state room for Felix. No, I think we're going to do a, a Ulysses on Felix. What well, time to the mast? I to the mast. <laughs> Two yeah. weeks. <laughs> you know, Felix. I'm betting uh, there's probably a game or two on there. Oh yeah. <laughs> on that boat. Yeah, yep. loaded dice probably. And, and the captain's got a captain's got a fish head, you know. You've never probably never, you know, fish head. Yeah, yeah. Noodle and Felix have not seen uh Captain Commodore 60 foe uh yet. So that will be a pleasant experience. Oh boy. That scared because we'll look about the same. Oh, he's not scary. He's just no. uh he's a lot like you. He's just yeah. a curiosity. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not a shark head by any chance. Yeah, he's not a were shark, so that's the more like a carp. Yeah, he's he's a were goldfish. Got <laughs> <laughs> the face of a goldfish. Yeah. All right, uh, folks. This has been Murder Hobo Inc. The Margu campaign. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our stuff, great. If you want to chat with us on Discord, great. If you want to seat at the table, let us know. Uh, and that extends to you guys because I I don't think I've ever mentioned that. If you guys ever want a seat on the talk show or one of the one shots, let me know. Uh, M Hobo Inc. at Twitter or Gmail will get you that information. Uh, also, thank you again for uh, OddfishGames.com. Uh, for thinking about us, uh, even though we make less than a reputable uh, appearance, especially with Felix running all over the place. <laughs> God knows what and God knows who. Uh, for all of us here, folks, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, wash your hands, cover your mouth when you cough, and stay safe. Amen. Bye, everybody.